Hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, Dantry here with Vod of Consciousness. Yes, that's what I thought I'd do. And as you might notice, there's a Bible verse up on the screen that I thought I'd go ahead and spend a moment talking about because I think it's rather interesting. Uh, as you can probably read for yourself, it's 1 Peter 4.15, and it says, If you suffer, it should not be as a murderer or thief or any other kind of criminal or even as a meddler. So this is instruction that Peter is giving to his fellow Christians, and... What he's saying in this is uh, Christians shouldn't suffer for uh, notably... Why did I just suddenly strike that guy? Notably, like, there's a bunch of basically as criminal things, but he also says not as a meddler, which I think is rather interesting. Um, I bring it up because, A, I like Bible stuff, and B... This is the sort of verse that I feel like doesn't get talked about within the Christian community as much as it ought to. This is direct instruction to us that we should not be uh, meddlers, right? Like, that's the instruction that's going on here. And Christians have a huge tendency to meddle, don't they? Like, it's, it's kind of... Uh, I feel in many regards it's like something that Christians are known for. And that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, this guy over here needs to go down. And, uh, and so I, th I thought I'd bring it to everybody's attention just because I think it's rather interesting. So I'm going to take a moment before this uh, boss fight to get this text off the screen. Text off screen. See? Just like that. Okay. Let's go ahead and start taking down these guys. Uh, there's a monk. See, the awkwardness about this right here, if you fail to hit, you lose in condition, is that you have to actually have adrenaline first before it works. And if you're losing a your condition because of not having enough adrenaline, you see the, the con inherent conundrum in that? Anyway. Uh, I got throated off on me. I'm going to pick up some of this loot. Maybe I should start each of these off with a Bible verse or something. That might be an idea. We'll see. We'll see. Yep. Heal this condition. Before I could uh, take advantage of it. Okay. So that boss was the boss that I wanted to take down. And I'm going to go ahead and capture his elite skill of life sheath off of him. It. It's really an it, quite frankly. Because um, one of the things that I realized is this character had a complete dearth of useful elite skills. And I wanted to, to do something about that. So I'm doing that. Uh, this character is also apparently a complete lack of progress in this area. Uh, let's go ahead and go to the Eye of the North. Uh, there's uh, another skill up this way that I want to go grab. Um, I want to do the... Anything you can do. Um, Sif. <coughs> Excuse me. Serious case of coughs there. Okay, so you'll see that it took my uh, elite skill and ripped it off my bar unceremoniously. You can only have one elite skill on your bar at a time. Uh, let's see. So, uh, if you're with me and conquer some percent, then maybe you'll learn your song. Anything you can do, I can do better. Anything you can do, I can do better than you. So we need to uh, go take out some bosses. <sighs> We're not going to do all of this in, let's see, actually, I'm probably not going to do this right now because I don't 
think I have enough time to actually complete it uh, in this month's or months this week's episodes. So I might do that next time. That's probably what's going to happen. Uh, this is pretty music, isn't it? There's birthday cakes. Um, all right, so let's take care of this equipment. Knights, a eh? Knights might be worth something. I should go check that. Um, Rune Trader. Knights. Nope, it's Sentinels that's worth something. Knights is, I mean, it's not completely valueless, but it's basically valueless. Still, I might as well extract it. Gonna keep that. Cool. All is good. And highly salvageable. There's a chance when you use salvage out runes, like you'll get the rune, but there's a chance that the arm itself will, or weapon or whatever will be broken. Um, so if you want to actually make sure you get it, you have to... Um, do I have... Okay, I have one thing of it. Let's just go ahead and swap those and sell some of this off. So this is part of where you can make... Uh, money in this game. Never anger a door. So that's worth 30 gold a piece, so it's not worth selling it to the, uh, uh, material trader, because you're not going to get more gold than selling it to the merchant. But selling it to the merchant is significantly faster, because you can only sell it in groups of 10 to the trader. Accumulate enough materials, though, and all of a sudden you have a little bit of money. Okay. So, I th think what I want to do, I have Shield of Deflection. Let me see if I can figure out where I can get Shield of Regeneration. Because I think that might be interesting. Um, shield, I think there's a bunch of places where I can get Shield of Regeneration. Shield of Regeneration is an okay skill. Uh, well, that's not a place where we want to get it, is it? Um, a lot of uplands. Okay, this... Oh, yeah, this is definitely the spot where you want to go get it. Okay. Um, except this character doesn't have that spot, so... Hmm. Interesting. Um... What are some other protection prayers? Uh, monk elite skills. I'm just looking up monk elite skills because uh, that should be able to inform me of stuff that I might want to get. Oh yeah. Everybody loves a zealous benediction. And restore conditions is actually really really similar to uh it's just a flesh wound it's just a flesh wound is actually arguably better and also worse okay so that's all in like okay so there's a bunch of spots where that can be gotten that's Oh, restore conditions is bad to get. Yeah, there's because it's so similar to. There's no reason to get it when it's basically it's just a flesh wound is a variant on it. Um, I'm actually gonna do this. So Embark Beach isn't something I've really talked about. It's kind of an intermediary zone that you can make use of. Um, it's a little slow in my opinion, to get places because for some reason they decided to spread out the different spots really far. I don't know why they decided that would be a good idea, but they did. Um, 
the end result of that is you kind of have to like run from place to place to kind of get there. Kind of annoying. Uh, whatever, we can go to TR Orchard. Uh, I'm just jumping to some random spot. Uh, and I want my stunning strike, I think, again. Uh, I'm going to need to go buy more words of healing. Uh, okay. I'm going to... Okay, we're going to do... A few steps. We're gonna pop to the guild hall, yield hall. Um, ooh, yield of judgment's a fun time. Not sure. Uh huh. Yeah, probably not. Um, and we're going to come here specifically. Uh, think, or maybe not. Maybe we're not gonna come here. Uh, okay. Well, first of all, I need to figure out where I want to go for this boss. Um, Landry soap. Oh, uh, that's also okay. I'm gonna need to go do stuff next time in uh, Krizik lands. <clears throat> for now, I'm looking at what my options are for bosses. Okay, so that one's actually not far from here. Um, that one doesn't have any information about him, so never mind trying to get it from him. And this one is... Um... Looks like part of a mission or something. This one's probably the one I want to do then. So there's one from T Hark Orchard. Down like that area. But at this point we're actually kind of getting a little long in the tooth in the mission, so. Um Let's pull our map away. Go to Biscuit of Doom. It's the old guild I used to be part of before I made my own guild so I could control my guild hall. Um, and then people stopped playing so you couldn't get guild hall changes as cheap. Uh, but this has a fully tricked out guild hall, so I wanted to keep access to it. So somehow I managed to find somebody online in order to be able to, uh, come here and, uh, keep it in the alliance so I can come visit this guild hall. A little nostalgic, uh, guild hall. Hmm. Probably doesn't make sense to try to be a bonder, does it? Bonding is a very particular thing. This guild hall always has been kind of peaceful to me. This area over here, in particular... I mean, it's based off of pre and Ascalon, right? It's got that sort of aesthetic going on with it. And that's always been really, really resonant with me. Except it's on the edge of the sea. They're all islands, you see. Uh, this tree right here. I have a bunch of screenshots I have taken of various characters by that tree. Very nostalgic. Very nostalgic indeed. <coughs> GVG is actually a very interesting game mode. Um, let's see. Some people actually doing guild battles. We can observe a GVG. Shall we do that for for a moment or two? Um. So, oh, it's like a minute until it starts. That's awkward. So this is a guild hall. Uh, and so you've got different teams. I have no idea what the meta is anymore these days. Uh, apparently, a lot of elementalists. So this is probably some sort of uh, spike build. Assassin's probably doing something very deliberate. Just a straight writ, not even a secondary. That's interesting. 
This elementalist is probably doing something different than these ones, if I had to guess. Because normally you'd arrange your party in a specific order. The thing that you'll notice is very interesting that makes it clear that this is kind of a gimmick build is there are no straight monks, which is unusual. Um, and this team doesn't seem to have fully loaded in. Oh, this person just has a bunch of henchmen? How on earth is this person ranked with a bunch of henchmen? Un number 126. So are people actually doing things? Or are they just... This is thoroughly disappointing. Wow, this is very thoroughly disappointing. Well, GVG was really sweet. Apparently, it's not anymore. Uh, because apparently people don't do anything in it. Go figure. Oh, well, here's 15 and 16. Surely they're doing something. Uh, Europe versus America. Like... Okay, okay, so that's loaded in. Is that going to finish loading in? This is looking more like a real theme. I enjoyed doing GVG back in the day. Uh, they've got some their other alliance people or some guests or whatever. Um, I just don't know if people are still actually actively doing stuff. Um... We're going to let this run a little bit long, just because I'm curious to see if they'll actually do anything. Uh, let's see. EA. So that's an elementalist assassin. I don't even feel like anything's happening. It makes me wonder if the whole system for observing GVGs is broken. Because... Yeah, look at all these henchmen. What the heck? This is highly unusual, is all that I'm saying. Yeah, I'm sure I want to stop observing, because I'm not sure observing works. Thank you very much. Huh, how very th thoroughly disappointing. Oh well. I have signative captures now. I'm going to throw one on my bar. And I'm going to end... I'm going to end at last after my sad disappointments. Goodbye, everyone. Until next time, take care.